welcome back to Visitor Analytics course about SEO and analytics. We are on the web analytics module and we will now talk about the most important metrics and stats to follow in your dashboard. If you're a beginner, then you might not know exactly what some of these metrics mean. So let's go through them one by one. First thing you will see in the app are three metrics next to each other. Visitors, unique visitors and page visits. In other apps, they are called page views. They all show the level of website traffic. So what's the difference between them? This is a common issue and not just for beginners. The first stat you tend to look at is the number of visitors who access your site in one day. I can go to and select today as reference. This counts the number of times people accessed your website and had some activity on it in a day, 225 in my example. But one person can visit the site several times in a day. This is why we also need unique visitors. This metric takes the IP address into account, or in our case, the fingerprint left by the first visit. Therefore, if one person visits the site four times in a day, we will count four visitors or sessions, but only one unique visitor. Then there is the visits, the page visits tab. During a session on your website, one unique visitor may access more than one page on the site. Every time a page is loaded, it is counted as a visit or a page view. When the user refreshes the page, it is also considered a page view. So you could have one unique visitor, four visitors, and let's say 23 visits, all from the same person. The page visits number, in fact, should always be highest and unique visitors should always be lowest among the three. For all of these, in Visitor Analytics, you can choose a time frame: today, past week, past month, or a custom period of time, uh, actually. Every time you select this time frame, you will also get a comparison with a previous time frame. If the tile is red, you have less visitors than before. If it's green, you have more.